Yesterday we started off with a bit of a rough start out here on Red Deer, but today we're going to start off by taking down this stag and we're going to go for a perfect heart shot. He's about 150 yards out. We do have the muzzle loader. And we're going to zero for 100. We're going to try and catch the top of the heart here. I mean, it should have been. Yeah, it was an amazing shot. He's going down. And he's down. Wait. <laughs> so he went down and then he actually got back up and then went down again. But eventually he did go down. All right, there's been a problem we've been having to face lately, and that is on one of the good maps for Mule Deer, I'm talking about Parque Fernando. The problem is every time we go out there, the Puma are absolutely just ambushing every big Mule Deer that we see. And when we find a spot where there's some good bucks, we come back there and we have to go there several times because many times the Mule Deer are spooked from these Puma. So we're gonna go out there today, hit it hard, and try and take down as many Pumas as we can. All right, let's try for that one more time, and this time we're gonna go for a 160 yard shot. Smoked it. That's what we like to see. That right there is what we like to see. All right, here's our red deer down right over here. And it's gonna be a 207 yard lung and heart shot. So we actually did go through the lung and just nicked the right side of the heart and then came out the opposite shoulder. Pretty amazing penetration there for the muzzleloader and a fantastic shot as well. All right, here's our red deer. It's gonna be a 200 gold and we did pull off. Oh, wow. We're talking a half inch to the right side of the heart. Got that shoulder and still did get some good penetration all the way through to get a lung, but we just barely missed the heart on that stag. Holy, there we go, big buck, big buck just tried it through right there. Oh my God, look at the rack on that thing. He's out there 250 yards out. We're gonna have to try and figure out a way to cut them off. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to, but I do believe they're probably gonna cut through somewhere around there. Oh, is that them over there? Okay. Oh, well, we got that buck out there at 270 yards. There's a doe, another doe. Uh, I don't know if he went over there. We got Hoblina there. Plus then we had this herd over here as well. See, if they were to just follow this one, we'd be fine. Because right now they're heading this way somewhere but yeah oh god there's gonna be no way we're gonna find this thing so the first thing we have to do is make sure we mark exactly where we just saw that buck and that is right over there okay so we got that marked on the map and he was headed this way over here but we can't mark that. We'll just have to know to go straight towards this lodge. All right. Well, we got this javelina out here. It's a decent sized one. It's actually gold potential as well. And since we have the AR-308, let's go for a shot. About 300 yards. Yeah, 300 exact. We'll have to hold for the heart. Smoked him. I'm kind of surprised that we didn't actually drop him with the 308. But I think it's maybe because the shot was so far that we didn't have a lot of kinetic energy when it hit. So there was no really knockdown power to be able to take him down that quick. Well, the good thing is we got his track marked over here and we saw him headed this direction. So nonetheless, he's definitely going this way. And at this point, we should also make sure that we switch back our 308 to slot one so we don't accidentally pull out the 300 Magnum and take a shot on this huge muley. Oh, there's a buck there. A doe there. So I'm not sure if that's going to be the same herd as our buck. Oh, 
Nonetheless, that's a good buck right there. I don't think we're going to pass him up, guys. Of course, we'll make sure our giant's not in here, but... There's another good buck there, too, though. Alright, I think we made a good shot, but we put a follow-up in him just in case. And I don't think our big buck was in that herd. But I'll tell you one thing we definitely do have to do, and that is find out exactly where our track is. Oh, there's his track! There's his track! Alright, I'm pretty pumped now. At this point, I am super excited to be able to figure out where that giant buck went. And let's see how we did. Vital hit. In fact, it was a double lung shot, 288 yards. And this thing weighed 55 pounds, so it was actually a good size one, 101 gold. Oh, and then we got this buck down over here too. Okay. Well, we should be able to find him laying right there. Yep, he's laying right there. Now, according to this track here, it seems that our buck would have been in this exact same herd. So I'm not sure if maybe he will. Okay, yeah, our first shot was perfect. For some reason, I kind of second guessed ourselves there and we put a follow up really quick, but it was not needed. 172. It was not needed whatsoever. All right, so we got really fresh tracks going all the way down here into this channel. I don't know if we're going to be able to see in there, but hopefully we can. The last track is right here, headed right to this opening. Oh my god, there he is! It's not him. It's not him! I mean, that's a good buck. We could have shot, and I definitely would have had this track not have been right here. Because basically what that means is our big buck is right in front of that buck. And if we would have taken a shot on him, our big buck would have bolted. Okay, well, at this point, I feel like... <sighs> I can't believe we just messed up that shot. We were completely out of breath. Come on, give me some breath. Ooh, that's what we're looking for right there. A huge mythical. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, wow. I believe we may have made a perfect heart shot. I believe we may have. Or I don't know what else we could have hit. But it was awesome. All right. Well, he's laying right here and chances on the way. Are you going to find him? Where is he? <laughs> good boy <laughs> oh my god he took forever good job it's gonna be a double long heart shot at 213 yards on the trot what a heck of a shot and a giant mythical 38.39 mythical puma wow all right, so we decided to come back the next morning to the exact same location that we thought he'd be better at, and I don't see him just yet, but he should be coming from... Oh, no way. There he is right there. Oh, look at this buck coming in. Wow, that's a giant. 237 to 298 on the estimate on this buck. Now, he's coming straight towards us. The wind is not good, and we have no cover at all. So we're trying to shift over and get to a spot where we can see... Oh no. Oh, we got a doe right there. Where's our big buck? Oh, there he is. I see him. Oh my god, he's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Oh, how far is that, though? How far is that tree? It's not 16 yards. I'd say he's about 30. Okay, now he's 40. All right, move though, move, get out of the way. Okay, he's 40, he's 40 yards. All right, that's a shot, we can take a 40 yard shot. 
We had the perfect setup aside from these does. But that's what always happens is these does try and blow your cover. So we got him out there at 40 yards. Oh my god, we shot below him. How the f did that happen? Look at what we just came upon the next morning here. We came back to the exact same location that we saw our big buck and we ended up messing up majorly, taking the shot at 40 yards and miss, but we got a huge axis right out here feeding and just off in the horizon happens to be our giant 280 plus muley buck. Look at the size of the rack on that thing. However, he's right directly in line with our buck. This axis steer is gonna cause for a major problem in order for us to be able to get close enough to get a shot off on this giant buck. All right, so that's gonna be the last spot that we're gonna be able to see this axis steer. It's a female, but our giant is right down over there. Now that's our huge muley, but remember, our axis buck is between us and him. So we gotta be really, really careful. The good thing is he's on the back side of this hill, so he's not gonna be able to see us before we see him. All right, well, we don't know where he's at. He was right here. And clearly at this point, he is gone. The weird part is we don't even have a zone here as to where they'd be feeding. But there's our buck right there, 80 yards away. Here we go. Now this time, we're gonna go right in the thicket and come up right on top of them. Which I feel like we probably should have done that on this axis steer as well. Not exactly sure why we opted out of it, but you know what? We're gonna go after him after. We're gonna find that big axis. Okay, well, we can see where he's at, but we can't really see him. All we can do is see his rack sticking up there. So this spot is not going to do us much good. Although we do have full cover right here. If we crouch all the way up, we don't have any cover. So we're going to try and get a little bit closer, creep over to the edge of this brush. And just maybe we'll be able to see him good enough for a shot. Either way, I'm really happy about this because we have some good cover. Right now, we're just going to lay prone and try and get as close as him, as close to him as possible without him noticing us. I feel like that's all we can really do. So as long as we're in brush, I'm really confident that we can pull this off. It's also usually pretty rare for a big buck of this caliber to be out in the open like this, right on the edge of the brush. Oh my God, there he is right there. He's 40 yards away from us. I can't tell if he's quarter away from us or if he's slightly broadside. It's really difficult to tell. I know he's looking away, but we just can't tell. All right, so we're gonna get in a little bit of this brush and then we're gonna try and crouch up so we can assess the situation a little bit better. But wow, this is incredible. Oh, no way. We have full cover. Full cover. And there he is right there. So he's actually quartered directly away from us. What a buck. Unfortunately, that is not a shot I'm comfortable with. Now, if we had more penetration with these arrows, you know, like say the 600s, I would love to take that shot. But from this angle here, we could easily hit intestine and not quite get up in there to get a lung or vital hit. But nonetheless, we just snuck up to 24 yards away from this giant muley buck. Okay, he is attentive, which is actually okay because we want him to stand up. That's what we want. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Inside shoulder. He's going down. Now, at 20 yards, if they're quartering at you, I'm definitely hugging that inside shoulder and we're taking the shot. We got him. 
All right, the only problem is now it's going to be super difficult to track him. But I'd much rather do that than go for a potential spine shot and risk not getting a vital hit. Oh, what do we got taken off over there? Okay, so that's a muley doe. Now, we saw him trotting off this direction. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Another nice buck. Another nice buck. Two of them, as a matter of fact. We're only going to take down one. 150 buck there and a 180 buck there. We're going to take down this one. Perfect shot. Perfect, perfect shot. Okay. Where did our big muley go? And we also want to make sure we find that axis as well. So... Uh, I never actually... Wait. Did he go back this way? No, he had to have gone this way and then looped around. Alright, we gotta find some more blood. I know he definitely cut back through here somewhere. And I think he might have went down in here. But we're not going to be able to find the blood very good. Because it's so thick. Oh my god, he's right there! He's right there! Look at this. So we came over here and I looked down and I could see this grass was all padded down. And then I saw the tracer lit up. And there he is. Right over there. Oh, let's take a look at this giant muley. Holy, this was awesome. All right, here he is down, right here. Oh, look at that rack. Let's pick him up. It's gonna be a 257 goal, and we pulled off a 21 yard, perfect lung shot. Right through the center of the left lung there, 257, and that was a 21 yard shot. There we go, what a buck. Honestly, I thought he was going to be way bigger than that, or at least a little bigger than that. I thought he'd be like a 270 buck, but yeah, he's still a giant. Still an absolute giant. And that is going to be a perfect double lung shot. 205 yards out, 199. Another one. Now, where'd he come from? I feel like what it is, is there's two separate herds here with a very similar um, amount of deer and the racks are almost identical. Oh, look at this. So this is kind of cool. This is one of those. Oh, that's what we want. That's what we want. I can't believe we just missed that thing. Ran right through here. But we got distracted by this. This is basically made for long distance shots with the rifle and it's supposed to spin every time you hit it. Okay, the fact that we just missed it right there is kind of hilarious. But these things work really good for long distance shots. You can take a four or 500 yard shot and you won't be able to tell if you hit it, but you'll be able to hear it go kind of like that. We'll take a shot with the 10 millimeter once and see what I'm talking about. All right, so for instance here, we're about 150 yards out and we'll go for a shot just so you can hear what I'm talking about. You hear that? All right, so now we're a good ways away and we're actually 300 yards away from this. This should be a good spot. Oh no, that's probably where our big axis was at. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh there they go, there they go. Yeah, there he is. 
Oh my god, he was right there. But we had a really bad wind as well, so there's not much we could have done. We would have went over this hill and he would have busted us. So at least we know where he's at and where they hang out. They should feed down there somewhere. We'll go check that out in a second, but I do want to take a couple of shots over here. Right down there. Okay. So 315 yards. And that is a miss. But that was a hit. And another hit. And another hit. So you can actually see where you're hitting on that plate. Like that was dead center. Alright, let's actually throw on the Argus here so we can get a little better view. A little high, but almost dead center. And that was pretty much dead center. Whoa, so this like never happens. We just came over here, we grabbed the 22250, and now we're ready to find that huge axis, but then we spotted this. That's a down potential um cinnamon teal and he's out there about 150 yards out but we don't have anything to take him down with so we gotta get back in here grab the 22 and hope that he's still there all right the question is is he really 180 or is he further than that nope 180 all right here we go Got him. Woo. We literally shot right into the water too. It's going to be a diamond, a 4.70. Actually a pretty large diamond. 180 yards shot there with the 22. And that's our first diamond cinnamon teal. There we go. We've been looking for a little while now and we just stumbled upon this herd of Axis. That happens to be our giant buck. He's out there broadside at 180 yards. What do we got over there? Another axis. But as you can see here, there's some cover between us and them. But if we get to that spot there, we're going to be right on top of these things. And we don't want to do that. So we're going to have to go for the shot from right here. Although you really can't see him that great. We can see him good enough for a shot. And we happen to have the 22-250. Here we go. I was going to say, that should have been a smoked buck. But the percentage took a long time to go down. However, I think it's just because the 2250 isn't really that big of a caliber. Anyways, we're watching him right there. Is that him? Alright, so we took the shot right around here somewhere. Right? Down there. Okay, so he was down here. No, we took the shot right here. Okay, here we go. Now, this is very important for us to be able to find out where he went. Now, we're going to track him over here. I do believe he went down somewhere before this last patch of brush. But we got some good blood here. Down to 50% health. More blood here. 25. I would imagine he went through here. Yep. More blood there. Still at 25. This is actually the brush that we snuck through in the first place to get our big muley. More axis calling down over there. And here's our axis piled up right here. Look at that. He is impressive. Not going to be able to see him hardly at all on here, but it's going to be a 196 gold. 
that thing was massive considering 217 is diamond and that shot there was perfect surprisingly we only did get a single lung hit though at 180 yards and we should have hit double lung because he was perfectly broadside but you know what it was still a great shot and a monster access buck is down whoa it's not every day i get excited about seeing a rare animal that's a female but in this case here this albino is honestly just as cool as a male these things are incredibly rare i think i've only ever seen one of these yeah i've only seen one and we do have it mounted but that is a rare albino and we're going to be going for a shot. She's looking directly at us here. We have the AR-308. And I think that's pretty much all we have. So we're going to need to make a really, really good shot. It's also a long ways out there as well. We got the AR-308, the 22250, and oh, we do have the 300 Magnum. Ooh. Well, that's going to change things up a little bit. Oh, yeah, it definitely is. All right, that's going to be a 350-yard shot. We're going to take him with a 300 Magnum. Uh, that should have taken her down. Um, that is not what's supposed to happen. We're going to need to get Chance for some help on this. Chance, this is going to be one of your most important track jobs that you're going to be doing in 2023, right here. So, let's get him. Come on, buddy. I just... I can't believe that we didn't at least hit the neck. Or something on that thing. All right, here we go, buddy. Come on. Let's find him. Boy, she ran a long ways. And the track should be right about here. So Chance should be able to help us find him. Come on. All right, buddy. Find him up. Find him up. And he's after it. All right, he got blood here. Not very good, but he's on him. There we go. Whoa, what? Are you seeing this right here? He led us right to him. Right around the tree. And he's laying right there. So. I'm thinking she must have trotted off over there and because we gave her plenty of time to go down She looped back around to come back to get a drink and before she could make it She piled up right here, but right, there she is out a boy buddy that a boy That a boy Good boy Good boy Good boy All right well, let's take a look at our rare albino red deer. And there she is, a 338 yard shoulder blade shot. Oh, come on, really? You're talking a 300 Magnum is not gonna go through the shoulder and hit lung, liver, and intestine on that shot there? To be fair, we were a little bit high, but not much. I mean, you're going right through that shoulder and you're gonna hit for sure lung, maybe even intestine from that angle. But let's take a look at her. There she is. What a sweet looking rare. The other day we got the rare piebald roe deer and that was cool. But this thing, is on a whole nother level. Wow. That is something else. It really is. Oh, 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 oh. 
But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Atta boy, Chance. Atta boy.